Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. This is Benefit Street, episode three. Let's get into it. No wasting time. Y'all yeah, like this more than anything that I've ever done. Yeah, James Turner Street was one of the best streets. Unemployed, unemployed. No, one of the worst. Reverage. That's the intro. Coming benefits. But times are getting tougher. It's people on this road that are working. But times are getting tougher. Your housing benefit is gonna get caught. What kind of nonsense is that? They're having to learn to get by on less. Still the intro. Are you picking off? Is there any point? Don't Anything can be more just... Get off my head. James Turner Street. Oh. It's not all about it compared to what we've got around. Damn, okay. <laughs> I made it 41, okay, now I know. See you later. Don't know how long it's gonna be. Mark's a father of two who's never had a paid job. It's lunchtime and is off to an appointment at the job centre. His fiancée Becky is left with Casey and Callum. That is not the role for you, Becky. His fiancée Becky That's, is, is left Becky? with Casey and Callum, who's missed nursery again. Or White Bee. You know who wrote to me today? No, that was White Bee. sent me a letter? Your school. Why? Many of the parents on James Turner Street are on benefits. Well, if you don't get your little ass to uh, nursery, I wish I would. I wish my daughter would. Uh -uh. Welcome to the no jump world. <laughs> are you? Mark and Becky are having money problems. I just dropped my fifty p. They've already been caught claiming too much benefits in the past. Now their rent hasn't been paid and they're three grand in debt. It all started when we split up in December. And when I moved back in, she phoned up and went to put my name back down. They couldn't do it. It's about time you like, take a step in our shoe and see how it is living on benefits. On James Turner Street, kids are everywhere. Many are raised by single parents. I ain't gonna lie, the kids in the hood, they be living the best life, man. Hood, hood life as a child is great. Up until the age of like nine, <laughs> ten, and then, then, it, then it gets to possibly changing and shit. <laughs> but up until then, oh, you having a great time. That's really naughty, isn't it? Despite their ups and downs, Becky and Mark are still together. And around here, that's not always a given. If you throw that, I will stack. He doing? He doing? He getting just terrible tools or something? He would have got the time out of his life. Keyword: time out. Time out. What the hell? Hey. Yes. <laughs> Keep track about that. Oh, you've got to get your partner to phone. Um, because I cannot discuss nothing with you. <sighs> Wish I have bothered. <laughs> Becky and Mark are learning how to cope with kids when it's not been long since they left school themselves. On the Friday <coughs> the 13th, we actually both got together. No, she told me a couple of weeks after that. When? We actually since they left school themselves. On the Friday the 13th. Oh, right there. Off to a bad start. Friday the 13th. We actually both got together. No, she told me a couple of weeks after that I was a bet. That her and her friend was betting on me to see who could win me first. And obviously, it was Becky. Don't kick it hard. <laughs> Mark, if he's not enough poor faces, he didn't actually ask me. That's what y'all betting on, huh? Yeah, he just says, are you, are we, hmm, hmm, hmm. And I was like, well, what does hmm, hmm, mean? mean? And then we actually went back to our um, la last registration of the day. And then a letter flew across the table. Will you go out with me? Says <laughs> 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 
No, that's why I say all the time, no football in the house. That little boy bad. <laughs> Across the road, Gerard lives with his sister and his mum, White Dee. I am the mum of the streets. Who are them? You wouldn't have the nerve to wave at me today, the one that I had to go at the other day. We've got, you know, the, the young parents, the young kids, and single parents, ex-drug addicts, or drug oh, my addicts. Boys. It's like one great big family. Dee's own family is missing a man. She split from her long-term partner when Caitlin was three. Would you not even like one picture of your dad? No. Hell yeah, no, for what? He went to get milk and never came back. White D was taking black D. That's tough. Nah. I didn't just meet him and then fucking boom. I was with him for 12 years, babes. Do you know what I'm saying? So, bound to have oh, photos funny. of him. I wonder what happened to that picture that I took of you. Remember your first ever poo in Ireland? Oh, there it is. Gosh, you're such a cutie, weren't you? Then you had to grow up. <laughs> Without work in the morning, some on the street stay up all night. That it's gone midnight, and three-year-old Callum isn't ready for bed. That's it. Stop. Stop. Folks, is three on the kitchen counter pouring cereal in a Spider-Man suit. Go at midnight. Don't forget. Go to bed. My daughter be asleep at 8 p.m. I do not be playing that shit. <laughs> How about we skip the sugar, and then your teeth won't get bad? Okay, tiniest bit. Stan! Okay, then let go of the sugar bar. Mm. Yeah. 20 past 12, nearly. I'm not going to your bed anymore. Why? I've realised you hate your bed. I think you was born in a different life. He was so tired <laughs> on um, GMTV the other morning. He died, but he came back as another person. Yeah. And he could tell you everything, what happened. I think it was World War One. Me and Fungi were talking earlier and he was on about it could be an imaginary friend. And I was like, well, he's already killed one. Because he had a friend, but he didn't <laughs> like him, so we killed him with the brush. You better watch out for this little serial killer. I don't condone that, I'm just saying. He's literally eating the cereal, he's killing it. Yeah. Make sure there's no cars coming. Benefits are paid at midnight, and for the desperate, that means a late night trip to the cash point. Thank you very much. Sam's a mother oh, of two, long, who started doing this journey when she got hooked on heroin and crack. Ooh. She's trying to get clean. Sam decent. So she can see her kids again. Uh, no, she's not. I'm 28. The only thing I've got is photo ID from the prison card. But old habits die hard, and temptation lurks around every corner. I have thought, no, uh, right now, I have thought about uh, getting drugs. My head says yes, and my heart says no. I feel a bit like, shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I? But I'm definitely not. If I find out you're in the window, I'm going to smack you. Because it's dangerous. What he does, he opens the window and tries to climb out. That's not funny. That's dangerous. If you don't eat that window, I will smack you. He knows that she is not going to smack him. It's 20 to 1. And Callum's woken up his little sister, Casey. You better stop. I want to put Casey back today. Do not move! She's <laughs> not, I'll just sit here. It don't bother me.
I'm gonna whoop this ass. Charlie, I ain't gonna lie Charlie. to you. Whoa. My daughter does not get spankings at all. But that little boy, they got real patience. Oh no. You came off? Thank you, Lord, for the well. So sweet. Thank you, Lord, for the things he eat. Thank All you gotta do when he go to sleep at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. is wake his little ass up at 7 a.m. And then he gonna go, he gonna go, then he gonna fall back in line with that sleep pattern schedule. Thank you, Lord, for the birds that see. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Amen. It's 8.30 a.m. For those who have a job, it's time to go to work. <coughs> Callum called it a night around five this morning. Now Becky is trying to get him ready for nursery. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. I seriously can't wear your vest like that. I believe it's um there's a ghost in the house and the only one he can see is Callum. He couldn't be telling him to do certain things, you know what I mean? Fun guy's a father of three. He doesn't get to see his own kids, but he and Callum are close. We had a ghost years ago. He was a drummer boy. We had to get a priest in to uh, bless the house. And he left. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Call him Fungi, that's my boy, but that is not... That is not the role model you want. <laughs> We've been friends with Gerard's dad for over 20 years. Never had no romantic inklings whatsoever. Say. <laughs> we went out one night, got absolutely wasted. Bang. Gerard, that's when I gave up drinking. One advantage of being a single <laughs> mom was that Dee could name her son after whoever she wanted. This one is going to buy me a house when he's older. <laughs> Not put me in a home. <laughs> this one will put me in a home. You belong in the home. Love you. Please behave yourself. <laughs> And I ain't got the strength to stay all with ya. Callum's still mm, refusing to get yeah. dressed, and Mark and Becky are running out of ideas. Night, all right, love. <laughs> Punishment porch come from because he keeps on climbing over this stair gate now. What he does, he stands on there and just jumps over. So then this is the safest way. He can't get out the front door and he can't get in here because of the stair gate. So I suppose it's better. Becky and Mark missed a doctor's appointment for Callum and now a team of health visitors are on their case. The appointment he actually missed, he had chicken pox. So now the doctors are putting it down to neglect. Three minutes. The worst yeah. case scenario could be where they end up removing Callum and Casey from us. I'm just touching wood, nothing will be like that. Especially if they see your time out spot, they really gonna take that one. This is a street where many kids are raised by single parents. Fuck you, <laughs> Mark and Becky are one of the few couples trying to make a go of it together. Come on. What's going on there then? Sweary. He's a twat. Your fella's a twat. He's a knob. <laughs> I don't hate him, he's just a knob. He has his days. If he knocks my door, he won't knock my door. Who did, are they talking about her man? Are they talking about Becky man? No, because he's got funny hair. No, he won't knock my door because I'll fucking batter shit out of him. <laughs> I'm a fucking cook as I nearly gassed us to death. Should we open a window? Because I got a cigarette on. We would have got knocked by now. It's a big stress on us, cannabis. Like him playing up. And then I say one thing and then she does the next thing. And there's no communication between us both. This bedroom was nice and tidy until I thought, oh, this could be all out. Let's like sort it out. Do you want a cup of tea? Yes, please. So I just go tell me to fuck myself. Because you was annoying me. How? Tell me how. The thing that tripped me up is Callum. 
Exactly, that's why I have a go at me over it. I didn't have a go at you. Yes, you did. All right, then, I'm sorry for having a go at you. Is that OK? You know you love me. <laughs> no. That boy feelings is hurt. More that. Me and Mark were, like, just friends to start off with and then, like, we kind of got into a relationship. But, um... When I first met Mark, I was on drugs. I um, tried heroin. Before you even get to it, that's a tough tilt. So you were marked because of heroin. That that guy, did Mark hear that? I hope he never heard that. That's tough. <laughs> that nearly killed me. But then we had a party and ended up taking a bit of the crack and stuff. And I'm glad like Mark was the one to turn around and say it to my face basically how it was. He's like, we're well, oh, gonna okay. kill yourself going through this. And you're gonna do this and then you're gonna end up with no money, no life. But I suppose them words had to be said. You still did that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been here now. Guarantee it. Well, no money, you got a life, no but no money. to save Sam when she started dabbling with drugs. And in the end, it cost her her kids. I wrote this letter to my son's nan. I just wanted to explain a few things about my life from the day I was told I have depression and also taking drugs, heroin. Me and Junior, your son, had split up. I started drinking and taking drugs, and that's when Tyrell came to live with you. My bad. Quick question. This is the last time I'm going to pause it. Probably not. Um, I noticed something about the UK. Every time I see somebody write a letter, there's no lines on the paper. Why do y'all write letters on computer paper and not put line paper? I'm just... Anybody? I found it hard to cope and I turned to crime, which resulted in me going to jail twice. Aww. Now is the right time for me to a good start guy. sorting contact with Tyrell out. I really miss him so much and can't wait to see him and you on a regular basis. That's it. What's that? There's a barbecue taking place on the street, but White D's daughter, Caitlin, is hiding out in the park at the end of the road. She's told Tejan to stop his mouth. Oh, now, where is she? Hello? I'm not impressed still, you know, D. She was thinking she came to go stop their mother. She's got no manners. And she said, she said that. Me and you, right, have never had any qualms, but D. No, no, no. All your picnic, we're going to have qualms because she don't tell my son to suck his mother. Excuse me, lad. Caitlin, right. I just said to her, what's happened? <laughs> no, nah, that's how you do it, though, because you can't whoop the child. You got to go whoop their mom, <laughs> their parent. Mm -hmm. She said she don't know. Tejan come to her and says, you want her. I'm because saying, I've been putting her middle finger up at Renee and telling her about Don't act like you're bad. Is that a bullet? Come on, suck me. Suck yourself for all this shit. It's just stupidness. Just stupidness. Well, I'm going to the shower. Love is all around me. So let the feeling start, Mark. Stop. It's been exactly five years since Mark asked Becky out at school. But it's an important date for another reason. Half is to run off it from the first row. Oh no. Morning. Oh. Lovely, Annie. Never mind. Don't put a downer on that day. Does he? No. Good. <laughs> the health visitors want to check on Callum after he missed a doctor's appointment. Do you know what's happening today? Yeah. Mummy and Daddy been together for five years today. And we've got health visitor coming. In Becky's life, officials usually mean stress, so she's on her guard. Mark's never kind of like really been like in with social services and stuff before. Right, scrubby scrub. Family members of mine have been. Oh, he been good so today. So I understand like these people don't come out just for no reason. They're coming out for a reason every time. They're gonna think we can't cope with Callum. Hello. Are you okay? It's coming out because you missed an appointment when he had chicken pox. That's one you don't miss. Health visitors are part of the NHS, but they also share information with social services. Hello, 
Callum. Hi. Hello. Oh. Come say hello. Hey. So are you OK, Callum? There, there's, like, no really major concerns, like, with, like, their health and stuff. It's just Callum's behaviour. When he, go, when he has one of his tantrums or behaviour problems, it's like you can't tell him off, he'll scream, shout, throw stuff. It's like if I was to say no, he'd just physically come up and hit me because I've said no. And what are you doing with and that? And then I tell him no, you can't hit me, and I do put him in the porch. He put him in there? For three minutes. Why would you tell her that? Are you stupid? Why would you tell her that? That is not a... So instead of the naughty step, we put him in the porch. And is it working or not? To tell you the truth, he can be in there like six to seven times a day. Well, someone somewhere has reported them. They don't just turn up. Do you know what I mean? You can't become a perfect parent by reading one of these books that these health visitors hand you and stuff. Half these health visitors haven't got kids themselves anyway. Oh, shit! The doctors. I think that went all right, though, wasn't it, with her? Yeah, not too yeah. bad. But it didn't it feel like she was trying to tell you, like, you're not doing a good enough job with the behaviour bit with him? Yeah, when, especially yeah. when you told her about the porch. Did you see her? Shut yeah. here, <laughs> She looked devastated. <laughs> not the best part. Please. Honey for the poor. Honey for the poor. After seeing Mark and Becky in action, the health visitors have suggested they take parenting classes. May I borrow your laptop, please, Dave? For? Parenting classes. So you're going to use my laptop inside your house? But the one to do it on the sofa. Or we could come sit on your doorstep. No, you're all right. Well, we'll yeah, yeah, Callum can tell Roger. Fuck off. <laughs> Being really careful. Hey, how does Mark be growing his hair that quick? My boy was just skinned in the last scene. Now he got a full head of hair. Don't want to drop it. We just go on to um, parenting classes by Winston Green. Winston Green. Hey, Chen Prison. I'll put in hands. No, 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 don't just put hands on. Becky, get, get that off. One finger tap. Sorry. Sam's still doing her best to spend her benefits on food rather than drugs. No, <coughs> And she's still hoping to see her son. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Veronica, it's Sam. You all right? Um, how's Tyra? Is he? Is it still possible for us to meet up and have a chat, please? But um, it's nice to speak to you anyway. How are you? <laughs> Clicked on her. That's bogus, man, because she's trying to touch her kids. That hurt. I feel bad, but it was still funny at the moment. Just messed up. <laughs> Last time I had him, I ended up getting arrested. So, because I had him for the weekend, and I went out, and while I was out, I ended up getting arrested. I had my son in my care, and I ended up going to jail for breaching probation. Heroin not only took your kids, she, it took your teeth. And, and, and. I just, I feel for you on the kid's side. It's tough. It's my boy. Kids look. Look how he walked across the street drunk. Kids learn a lot about life from the grown ups of James Turner Street. Today, Fungi is entertaining his drinking buddies. And it clashes with an important day for Mark and Becky.
Okay, he won't cheat, do it. No, he has to learn. Dad's dressing him. Okay. Yeah. It seriously is not working. They're expecting their first visit from a Sure Start advisor, who's here to help them cope with their kids. I know she's here for your behaviours, but could you try and be best behaved? <laughs> so we've got in there, yeah? Battered him with a chair leg, and then he's come out onto the street, it was pitch black. He had no lights in his house either. And then as he was standing with the street light, not he's got a knife about that big proper kitchen knife. And then looked at me on. He stabbed me a basket. Oh, I just want to send on the news. Should we go inside? Oh, yeah, yeah. Take it to heart, man. Look, yeah. look at this scar, yeah. Got stabbed there, yeah, straight from my lung. Nearly died, mate. Do you, do you generally kind of sit outside with the children and not with them all the time? No. Okay, sometimes exposing children to that type of environment does influence them as well, doesn't it? Yeah, that one's crap. Must just go out the back door? Right. Yeah, fuck off, you, you mock shit. <laughs> So, because he's four now, we do want to get him off the dummy. What do you think? We have been, like, yeah. just recently. <laughs> We're only trying to get him onto it. Only on the mm -hmm. night, if it can be helped. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, when he's playing outside with his friends, mm -hmm. depending on, like, the friends he's playing mm -hmm. with. So he goes and it. plays outside with the children? Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, he has everyone on the street, you know. Okay. Because obviously with children's behaviour, there's always there's, there's a cause of behaviour. There's always a trigger, isn't there? And that's what we have to look at. What is the cause? And it could be the family environment. It could be the outside environment. He has his peers, like we said, he's got friends that are older. What? They are, there could be a lot of attributing factors for this little behaviour. It starts in the house, though. They're definitely arguing and fighting in front of him. And he takes those social cues and... Thinks it's okay. All I can do is come to the house, observe Callum, you know, you parenting Callum, yeah. and then we can start making a plan together as a team. Yeah? yeah that's <laughs> fine. Yeah. Fucking blue army. You're blue. You're like, you fucking dying. Yeah, I do. White D's son, Gerald, has spent the whole five years of his life on James Turner Street. I think he's more streetwise than his sister, and that's scary. Um, links and things like that. Yeah. You, do, you spray that. And you put your light underneath it. He knows way too much for a five-year-old. You know what I mean? And that's just from being riding up and down the road on his bike. <laughs> He's also a boy. His sister's obviously a girl. So he tends to be into more things with the fellas. <laughs> he wants to be around the, the older adult male. Oh, no, no father figure to do that. Kids, why ain't he done that to me? Yeah. Did you Look at that. Kids? I'm what seeing happened? them later. What happened? Did you see your kids? It doesn't make a difference. Yeah, it fucking does. Maybe <laughs> go there, Chad. He will know what a cigarette is. He knows what a, what a spliff is. He's gone from, like, calling it broccoli. He used to think it was broccoli at first. Yeah, I'll just drive that, man. You smoke it, look. All right, man. Twos, yeah. What, you think you're going to get twos off me now? I have thought, what is there for him? Is it destined that he'll just grow up and he'll be part of a gang? Because that's society, isn't it? <laughs> Um, basically, I didn't realise that um, rent had got fallen behind because the estate agents didn't notify me until, obviously, the arrears built up to the amount they've got to now. Six months ago, Mark and Becky had a temporary split and it caused a problem with their housing benefit. Martin, I make a note of 895. 895. Oh, sorry. 845 pounds. 845. And 95 pence. And just remember, for the year... Y'all yeah. Yeah, don't got a pen? Because Mark's, I don't believe in his ability to remember that. 845. We pay £500 per cadre a month. They owe the landlord over three grand, but their income for the whole family is only £255 per week. No, he's a full-time dad as well. Doesn't sound like... We're just a bit worried about being evicted as well. New benefit rules are having a big impact on the street. White D's employment support allowance has been frozen. Oh, White D's too? She got all the answers. What happened? I feel like, uh, what was that? 
how you gonna have two full time parents? I get it. Like I read somewhere, like having one child is like two and a half full time jobs. So I get it, but like both of y'all can't be, you know. Time is absolutely shit. I've got two fucking school uniforms to buy now. In what? When they go back third of August. I think it personally to think it's all to do with stats because I'm officially classed as. Old age pensioner. You know, not claiming now, am I? Well, because are you an old age pensioner? No, I'm not an old age pensioner. I'm just fucking skint. Nothing to do with fucking age. Do you have an Do you want another smack? Because you had a smack last night. Okay, Lindon. <laughs> what do you do? Do you want another smack? Ah. Uh, Cause you had a smack last night. Okay, Lindon. He immediately told on her. <laughs> These neighbour Titch can't find a job and is thinking of starting his own business, collecting scrap. These women, they breed to make money from the government. Yeah. They want to breed because they know they get a house. In Africa, if you don't work, you don't eat. But here, men they sleep, look after the kids. <laughs> the country is not going to be afford to pay for everybody. We have to work. Today, the church at the end of the road is running a job club. Come on, before they start, and you miss all the introductions. Is there any introduction? There is. No, there's not. There is. No, Come on. Not. It's about you supporting your family. Listen. Thousands and thousands of people done. getting laid off work. What chance for got of going into a job? He sees more CV, not many qualifications. He sees the next man with like a load list, uh, degrees, education, everything. Who's going to be more interesting? Yeah, it's for us, Mark, and you have to show the kids that you want to provide for them. Oh, cheer up, man. Mark want to stay home. That boy is nothing. <laughs> okay. Lord, man, say, Jake, if your head's down, then you got to always keep your head high. No matter what life brings Don't to you, no matter what life throws at you, you got to keep your head high. Ain't nobody taking life advice from you, Mark. Oh, uh, what the hell? Present yourself well, won't you? Mass English Science. Mark's only had a few unpaid jobs since he left school four years ago, so he's starting his CV from scratch. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah. And you're saying the other one is B Tech, yeah? Yeah, B Tech. Right, B -tech. Oh. In caps, caps, caps. Oh. What else? Um, quick, quick, quick. I tried to see. Yes. Hey, fingers. Ah. Get to figure, get what, what's in here. Any fingers? Ah. Okay, leave this section for now, yeah? Can Mark spell? Have you done any other kind of anything? No. Nah. Never? Never. So what you been doing with your time since 2008? That's what you been trying. The Caribbean people, they, they, they go keep it a buck with you. They like, he looking like, he said, so have you been doing? Never. Wow, interesting. So what are you doing with your time? To be done, they're going to ask you. What have you been doing with your time? Locking for work and just like me. Yeah, it's locking. Did you know I'm not working as well? I'm a volunteer. Nah. I'm not working. I'm looking for work as well. Wow. Okay. This is yeah. the bare bones on a CV. Yeah. You need to put some meat on this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fucking telling you, I've never met no one like Mark in all my fucking life. He's great. I love him to bits now, Beck. I'm not gonna lie, but I told him when I first met him, for fuck's sake, you got two kids, you're fucking young, you get me? So, on the other hand, you've got to give yourself credit, you get me, car? You get couples out there that can't manage two kids, Beck, you get me? And like, you're young and you're doing it. So, like, give yourself credit. If you can get a job and better yourself, fair play, but you can't be stressing yourself out and you got kids in it. Like, why the kids are still young? I say you claim your fucking benefits, that's what I fucking say. When the kids get a bit older, then you look for work. Also, who I'm not taking advice from, especially relationship, relationship advice from a single person. Well, how do I do that? Well, you single. Why would I take advice from you? 
and also hey, jobless. Are you talking about birth's not on here? No, he's going to wipe it all. Interests. I enjoy playing football, walking, swimming, and social losing with my friends and family. I think it's supposed to be socialising, isn't it? Start something new, though, Dave. Yeah, I know, I agree, I agree. I've got to start doing some at... Let's do it right now. God bless him. Small things, eh? Guess what, Daddy's got on? You're not, 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 not going to know what it is. Well, it's a social mm -hmm. losing. Mm -hmm. When Daddy's finished, mm -hmm. be able to go out and work. Mm -hmm. That what you want? Daddy, go and work? Yeah. Taking that in the house because there's one thing you always keep on doing, both of you, putting it on the floor and just leaving it to melt. Yeah. But you're doing it sneakily that I can't even see where you're putting it, so no ice lolly in the house. Even with help from the church, Mark hasn't found a job. And with the red letters piling up... Mark out there doing wheelies and riding with no hands on a bicycle. He don't care. Becky has had enough. He don't want a job. I'm going to go mad on him. Because he doesn't do hardly anything and he just thinks everything's a joke. So have I done them, Becky? What haven't you done? Becky, you can't keep treating me like a dickhead. Mmm, a dickhead, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Job, Becky, it's snake grab Well, I think you should go find a job. Instead of sitting at home. Why is the point of love? What what is the meaning of love? Why is the deep, deep, deep meaning of love? I don't know, you tell me. You tell me. You're hungry. Okay. What do you want? Boxes. Okay. Becky. What? Shut your fucking mouth, what? shouting. Is there any point? Don't talk to me. Is there any point? Do not. That's why Kyle would act like that. Look, look how y'all talk to each other in front of him. Talk Is there any point? Me. Is there any point? Don't talk to me. Is there any point? Bastard. Come here. What are you trying to do? No fucking prescription. What for? For tablets. Tablets for what? What are the tablets for? For me to take. Antidepressants. Oh, okay. I would have never guessed. Not many people know I'm on tablets, you know, fucking happy pills. That's probably why I'm happy. I ain't happy if I don't take them. What do you want? Can't go toilet. There's no ball in the bathroom, Gerald. You left it out on the road, so someone's probably stolen it. A shower. Mum, calm down. The doctor said no, no stressing. Like you says to me, whatever. I'm going to the shop, and I don't want to advertise my phone because I don't want to get mugged. I don't want to get mugged, so I'm cutting off my phone because I'm by foundry. Let me turn my phone off. I can't stand the bullshit no longer. Are you serious? I'm leaving. I sleep up mate, tell us some. Mark. They just just be a man, bro. What are you doing? You acting like a real deal. B word, be a man and man up, get a job, that's all. Things will be a lot easier, plus you'll have more time away from her. Y'all be back in love, because y'all finally have time to miss each other. Get a job, bro. On the doorstep. My stuff's on the doorstep and watch. Becky. Whatever. I've just been thinking about it. I think since I've been sitting out here, thinking how I want my love to <laughs> hang out and. Is he still what young? else can I do to make it better? But no, um, answers, yeah. 
I just feel like pissing off sometimes, but I don't. I stick around because the kids and Becky. Love is just like a flower. The flower grows and grows. It turn, you get the bud, then you get the petals. And then at the end, it all falls off and dies. Half, I think half my petals are falling off. The, it'll be like a new flower. If we can sort everything out, it'll be like a new flower growing back. But if we can't, then it's just gonna, it's gonna die really. Is he a poet or something? Like, if he could put this much energy into a job, the same amount of energy as he thinks of, like these, these lovey dovey and advice and shit, just like, just put that into a KFC application anywhere. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. Man. I like doing skits as well. So I might um, do a little performance. Grow up. I can't fucking smoke when I'm asleep. G, come here. Yeah. What am I do? G. Jay, one more. Mum of the street, White D, has had the ESA benefits she receives for her depression frozen. That wasn't proper. Yes, it was. It wasn't. And the family are now 106 pounds a week worse off. Is you a part of our problem? You kids. Okay. Stress me out. Okay. Mark's finally got a job. For an agency that gets okay. people to donate to charity, he's on a hundred percent commission, so it all relies on the success of his sales pitch. Hi you there, and that's bad Salo. We look after all your local diabetes. Adam? We look after all your local diabetes in the community. Yeah. What we need to try and do, we need to try and raise a million pounds. But yeah. don't worry, I couldn't say how so you can't or nothing oh, no, like that. I'm not donating now. Hi there, don't look as bad as I am. This just a call back from earlier. Oh, sorry. Um, Thank you very much. Do you know anyone who's diabetes? You're very lucky to touch one of my that way. What we're trying to do, we're trying to raise a million pounds. But don't worry, I'm not selling your house or nothing like that. <laughs> that boy got the corniest sales pitch. But don't worry, I'm not selling your house. I don't know what that bro like. I know you're not. What the hell? Okay then. <laughs> Daddy, I'm not buying sausage. And sweets, okay. With the promise of a wage coming into the street, Becky can buy food. No, 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 Callum! Without Mark, she has Callum and Casey to herself. Do you want to go in there? Are you going to behave? Or I take you in there? So when you're around the corner from home, come away from the road. That's where Daddy goes. And look, there's another man coming upon his bike. At this moment in time, him working hasn't really sunk in. Just hasn't really sunk in. You ain't getting no money. Mark's job is yet to earn him a penny. And it's almost 10 o'clock by the time he gets home. I did it. He's asleep. Very quiet. Case is awake. <laughs> I put time and effort into that. Don't know. Watch that get the damage shot. See how that work out with you being a man? You go to work, you come home, kids are asleep, food is ready. Burnt, but ready. <laughs> Come on. With or without work, there are always appointments that need to be kept. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you. See you later. Methadone, yeah. Cheers, mate. But 
on the street, rush hour begins when the school day ends. Yeah. I'm seeing the kids get the bus. I didn't think you were the sign. No. It was an accident. He was playing with a rock near a window. <laughs> Dee's already down over a hundred pounds a week, and fixing the window will eat into what's left. You've been home what an hour? You've caught his fingers in the door. That went my fault. You've thrown a strop. He's broke a window in an hour. Uh, that's a headache. Mm. The first time my child breaks something, you're getting a job. Simple. Even if it's a job around the house, you're going to be doing it for eight hours. I'm not even going to lie to you. You have to be so calm tonight, Ian. Just say how. Oh, that looks really relaxing, actually. Let me just go and get my teddy. No, let him choose a teddy. Cow? No, 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 he's eating. Oh, he's eating. nothing to write. Mark still hasn't earned a penny from his job. But Becky's been working on Callum, and she's determined to get him to bed on time. Not that one. He don't like that one, because it's funny fur, but this one's soft. <laughs> Run, no, no, give kiss. <laughs> Run, no, no, baby. You trying to move over a little bit? He doesn't need anything or want anything. Leave him now. Becky, you're a fucking big mouth. Listen. You're a big mouth. Listen. I said I've the phone. Just lie him down. Listen, have you not realised? Like, let her do her thing, bro. What are you doing? When you're not there, he goes to sleep. Like, you chill. Listen, because I just learned that Casey's following Callum's negative behavior. So we just have to ignore her as well at the moment. Do you get tired the face with it? say goodnight to Casey. No, no! No, not to... I don't want him to know we're listening. Callum just said goodnight to Casey. Don't reply. Where's your bike? Up there. Up where? Anywhere. No, it's up. I can't see it. Gerard. I want to let y'all know I didn't dig in my nose. Forgot you got to address shit when you... <laughs> I just scratched the inside of my nose. It's a difference. He was playing out on his bike, but he's come home on foot. Where is your bike? You got stolen. <laughs> The bike was a birthday present, and now it's missing. Yeah. Your mom. Answer me the question! Mum, I've gone pa! Did you take your bike out today? You're gonna get into more trouble for not answering my question. Go find it! It fucking pisses me off when it doesn't answer the fucking questions! Uh, he was crying and eating food at the same time. <laughs> he left out the bar. Stupid idiot, you're grounded. Man, you can't talk to him like that. <laughs> Y'all need to get her her medicine. <laughs> the doctor said that she's really not well. Like, mum's gonna need a bit of time to herself. But I know she's going to get better because the doctor did say she's going to get worse before she gets better. But I don't know what that means. But even though it might take a long time, I know she's going to get better. We're going to lie down now. And we're going to count sheep. One sheep. Two sheep. Three sheep. Four sheep. <laughs> count the sheep to put Mark to sleep. And one to sleep. Are oh, they both sleep. sleep? Fake sleep. No cap, that fake sleep work. I be doing that to my daughter, I be. She be. Oh, okay. Then you gotta do it, man. Becky made me a pizza. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it ain't that bad. People in Africa would pay me for that kind of food. <laughs> it's still eating. That's a lie. 
Let me take. Do you want a happy meal? Yeah. Successful night. I thought you said. Now y'all can have a little bit of intercourse and, and y'all be good. Y'all good now. Y'all back good. Successful night. Successful. <laughs> yeah. Say it. Say <laughs> <laughs> <So> what? <laughs> Whip, whip. Perfection isn't all flipping, gleaming white and this, that and the other. Do it. One king, two king, three king, four king. <laughs> the stretch is more. seeing your kids happy. Happy birthday to True. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Casey. Social services have died off and I don't want them to really be involved any day soon. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hello! Hooray! 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 Okay. We've been through so much. If we can get through all that, we can get through anything. What's happened to your job here, Mark? How much did you earn? Fuck all. You know the penny? It was just a fucking nightmare. I'll give you contact details. <laughs> I don't wish you did. I can't work on them. Do you work on them? I'm an alcoholic. That's one of those jobs you just keep so you can put it on paper, though. So you can fill out your resume. Are you drug addict? You really just want to get a job? Yes. And be completely different to the rest of the world? Yes. Fucking I don't want to be broke and look broke or look poor. Take out? I just don't want my kids to have the life that I had. Two nine to nine, please. I'm not going to say I'm too old to have dreams, because I'm not too old to have dreams. I must be the unlucky guy. You're never on too the old planet. to dream. I've had enough. I'd like to know what it's like you know, to be normal. But I want to get to know my kids. This right. is, hold on, man. This is the preview for the next one. We don't need to watch that. We just watch the next one. Tell I leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.